Okay, I'm going to get these out of my system and onto video. Um, I hope you're not thoroughly bored by them and I will try and be quick with these. The next Mary Ann Moss class that I took was called Fil Full Tilt Boogie and these are the three books that I made on uh, from those online classes. Um, this one was finished and it's an exposed spine. Again, if I was doing this book again I would do it slightly differently. Um, it's quite squashed but it is standing up. It looks a little bit ragged in places but it seems to be standing up quite well to being used so um, I actually really like this book and the same principle inside junk journal um, just with bits of ephemera there's my hairs again um, on the back of there um, photographs no stitching in this one all of these journals are um, the pages are glued there is some stitching when you actually put the signatures into the binding um, but the pages are all stuck together, glued, different pictures. If you've seen my other one, there's another wolf. Um, I'm just going to whiz through this one quite quickly. Cows. don't know why I cut those out, but then when I did and stuck them on that spotted paper, I thought it looked great. So, um, another Carla Sonheim postcard. This piece of paper was from a um, carrier bag I got when I bought some, I think it was new blouse, can't remember exactly, a bit about my son, and so on. There's quite a lot of writing in this book. I tend to pick this one up when I want to um, note something down. I write different directions, upside down sometimes, um, I've written round this pig's head for some reason. It seemed a strange thing to stick in, but then when I actually came to do some writing on that page, my grandfather was very fond of pigs and used to keep them. And I have some quite strong memories of um, visiting the pigsties and the piglets and that sort of thing. I probably didn't think of that when I stuck the picture in, but that's how these journals seem to work, really. My mum on her honeymoon another great great grandmother Kenilworth Castle again I'm drawing this time uh, Durham, Bamborough Castle There's a couple of aunties some photographs there um, that's the Mississippi we I've made only unfortunately one visit to the um, United States but we were part of the time we went on a, a riverboat on the Mississippi which was fun and this is Austria this was um, off a card that a friend gave me uh, National Geographic I should think that came from just really like the colours and the composition and the same with this one here and then there's lots of space to be filled up in this book. This sits downstairs with the remains of the day journals um, and they're the ones that are handy for me to pick up when I'm not in my craft room. That's me in the United States as well. So that's that one. And you can see there's, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six signatures in there. So there's quite a lot of pages in that one. The next one I made was um, using a different kind of binding stitch. So this is book covers, old book covers that I've just pulled off um, some old book that I've had. And I've made the spine out of some fabric paper. This one's quite stiff, but it makes it a good solid book. And this time I've put five signatures in. Um, I was trying to be a bit art journaly there. I'm not sure whether I succeeded or not. I do keep trying. Um, and I don't think there's much else in this book. It's put together with papers, cards, the odd picture that um, toned in really with the, the coloured paper. 
So that was that one. Lots to do in that one. And then the other one, this was obviously a copy of The Secret Garden. I probably will eventually decorate this. Um, not quite sure how yet. Um, so this was stitched signatures again and then I think it I can't exactly remember how I did this but it was stitched and then glued onto the covers and this again is quite a robust feeling journal and this one I've just done some odd bits in lists um, pictures There's any other writing in here, but these are just. I think these were some bits I had left over from making some ATCs. It's an email somebody sent me that I wanted to keep. And again, it's just a mixture of papers. Like um, a lot of us, I had loads and loads of 12 by 12 papers that I could never see myself using but they're great for those books. And then the last class I did with Marianne Moss was The Ticket to Venice. Um, again, slightly different binding. And this one, I've just put one, two, three, four, five signatures in there, but I've bound in lots of greeting cards um, and lots of ephemera that I had hanging about, which hadn't gone into any of the other journals you know, these leaflets that you get when you visit places. There's a pocket there. Um, that one is one of the Silly Isles, the gardens on the Silly Isles. Um, this is a birthday card, the inside of the birthday card, a leaving present. It's a leaflet from Hawkstone Park is the one I was talking about that's in Staffordshire. So I've glued that on and made it into a pocket and popped some photographs behind it. On the inside of the birthday cards, the blank white bit, I've pasted in different pictures, put some flat pages in. This is a real mishmash. I'm not quite sure about this one really. But I think when I've written in it, and stuck other pictures down, it'll look as nice as the others. I hope so anyway. So that was that one. And then I wanted to make a bigger journal. So this time I got um, a file folder, a ring binder, sorry, ring binder folder. Messed it up completely the first time I tried to put this um, spine piece on and ended up ripping the paper so see at some point I'll cover that and this one is on rings so this is a really easy binding to do and again I've just done the very similar style through there um, pictures I like this is a card from a handmade card from Nepal that my friend bought me um, bonsai tree that I had as a present which sadly didn't last long in my house I'm very bad with plants but at least I've got a photograph of it some ATCs that I've been sent and particularly like and this page is made up of washi tape um, photographs of a relative's golden wedding a day out at Hever Castle and a weekend in London and the theatre and then slightly differently in this particular journal the next group of pages are devoted to a holiday we took in Austria and I've gone I think the postcards in that one and I've gone day by day so this is the hotel we stayed at um, the village a map of the village some of the shopping lists shopping tickets um, the walks we did houses we saw um, that's the ski lift we went in the summer obviously some photographs in that envelope a bag from the 
Cafe at these waterfalls um, and the day we spent in Salzburg. So those do follow on and I think for the rest of this one I'm going to put together the um, ephemera I've got from our trip to the United States which was 2009. Just to finish off quickly um, I have done some painted page journals. These are pages that I've done myself or that I've learnt from um, Kelly Kilmer and Dinah Wakeley and I guess I need to work out um, what to put on these. This would be more traditional art journaling um, and although I love the backgrounds I never know what to do with them so I'm hoping that one day something will come to me. That was one page that I did complete. And this last one is the same. Just a few little attempts at art journaling. But I seem to go back to photographs and um, writing. So I'm not sure really with those. But I do like the backgrounds. 